well, it's raining. Uh, well, you couldn't call it rain really, it's quite a heavy drizzle. Um, keen to get a bit of venison in the freezer, so yeah, I'll finish work a little bit earlier today. Uh, going down to an area, uh, I've talked and asked the farmer if I can have access in on his property down into uh, heads down onto sort of public um, land. So uh, we'll go and have a look. Not sure how much camera I can get done, but. Uh, where possible I'll, I'll try and film what I can but yeah um, there's deer in the area down there so I'm gonna go and have a look um, it's just gone I think quarter past three so a couple of hours of light it's pretty miserable outside so I'll just the wet weather gear out and see how we get on Oh, uh, bigger the truck, uh, no deer as such, um, might have a crack in the morning, see how we go, um, yeah, that pheasant flew over the top and I was sort of looking through some trees, um, and then the pheasant went screaming over, sort of looked up and looked at that and I, oh, yeah, uh, and then it was, and then as I looked back through the trees, I just caught the back end, it was, yeah, looks like the back end of the deer, so, Never mind, um, whether it spoke that it was already on to me, I'm not sure, but all good. Might have a crack in the morning, see how this weather plays out anyway. But. Just making my way through this uh, thicket, <laughs> this bit of bush, some big totras in here. But, um, yeah, just slowly my way, making my way through. Um, see if I pick up on anything. Um, it's a little, uh, it's handy having the, the drizzle because it, uh, uh, it sort of disguises your, your footsteps. Um, but it's uh, yeah, she's pretty wet. But anyway, must be deer around somewhere. Just pinned a fellow. Looks like a little fellow spiker. Um, yeah, didn't have time to. He was sort of uh, walking, oh, just grazing, sort of walking around, and then he was about to sh shift out of my view. So it looks like it's. I think it's entered far back, but then gone through the engine room by the look of it. He didn't look very healthy. Um, and then he's just walked in behind cover, so give it a couple of five minutes and go and, uh, go and have a look. Go and get it. Sweet. So I was up oh, in those trees up there. Up, up in there. It's only like, I don't know, 100 metres. And he was coming around here, you got the fence there, and he was walking around. He was walking around here, so I was going to lose him. Oh, this is cool. 
pulled on a stick. Yeah, that's some fugly looking things going on there. Looks like he's got a decent sized buck, but he's got no horns on. Sweet ass. Mean. I didn't even know they were down in here. I was actually keeping my eyes out for reeds, but this fella showed up. Good ears. Little wild fluffy tail. That's what made me think it was a fellow. Good ears. Now the fun begins. Got them out and some dragging back out. I think I can get them over to the track there, so and then going back and get the yacht, so it'll be all good. Sweet ears, main ears. <laughs> Oh, if you're a bit squeamish, you look away now. But um, as I said earlier, like I, I'd uh, pinned it through the, uh, the angle that it was on. I knew I was going to probably, well, it's cut through the liver, just smashed through the liver. Looked like it clipped. Didn't do any damage to the intestine itself, like it, but it's missed that and just cleaned through the liver and then. Both lungs got hit. Hearts there, nothing in the heart. But two two lungs and then the back end of the liver there. It was pretty um yeah when I locked up after the shot, you could see me just stand there sort of hunched over like hell had just hit him, so but um yeah, go back and get the ute. Can't see the bullet, might be up in the part of the shoulder or something. We'll have a little look when we get it back to um to uh to Kim's back to the chiller. But um all goodies. Still miserable, but it was well worth it. Well worth it indeed. Alright. Sweet.